Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to create a facial expression detection model using the facial expression data set. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to use Kaggle for this purpose as my laptop would not going to love if I run this model on the laptop or create this model on the laptop. So I will come over here. You can run this on your laptop if you want. Okay, it's all up to you. So let's come over here and click new notebook. So once you come over here, for now, let's just set, uh, unset this CPU option and let's create a new notebook. And I will name this notebook facial uh, detection. Okay, so now it's time to add the data set. Come over there and click on add data set. And data set is facial expression. And this is the data set. So like, let's click on add. It should take some time to, okay. So once the data has been added, let's just get rid of this stuff. Okay, let's also import CV2 for now. Okay, awesome. Now over here we have our data set. Now let's create a DF variable and store this data set over there. You can copy the path from here. Let's say a pd.read CSV and pass in the path over here let's run this and if we have our looks on df.head first five examples of this data set then it has three columns one is emotion pixel and usage so let's just quickly see uh, uh accessing the first row of this so uh okay so i have to use df.i look okay, so over here we have three columns now let's just see uh emotion so it's a single value integer value uh which is signified to the respective emotion let me just uh take you through this so that you have better idea so zero stands for anger and uh one stands for disgust but i will come to it later but uh, this data set have seven categories of emotion we will just going to use six categories because the data set is really unbalanced so we will get rid of one category that category only has 500 values in it 500 uh, images in it so it's not good to use that category and now if we have look on pixel then you can see pixels i guess uh pixels i'm sorry for that okay, so it is a string of so many values so as i said it's a string so it will be it will be a, a split at spaces let's just see now it is string now let's see how much is the length of it and now it is 3024 let me just quickly take out my calculator and let me just show you 48 into 48 is 2304 so every pixel is of 48 by 48 image so how will we going to uh, show it to the user let's just quickly use matplotlib in order to show one image so let's say import matplotlib.yplot as plt let's import this now our image will be img is equals to let's just uh, copy this one so this is our image but the problem is now if we have a look on img it's just a list of strings so first of all we have to convert this to integer so we would this is really easy to do we can say img equals to list of um integer of i so we can say for i in img it's quite easy to do so now if we have a look on img let's say 0th variable and we can say so now it's integer now uh, if we have a look on length of image it's 2034 let's convert this to numpy array uh, np dot array img now it's converted to array now let's reshape this array so img equals to um img dot reshape 48 comma 48 okay so now if we have a look on img dot shape it is 48 by 48 now let's just show to the user plt dot im show img and cmap will be great and this is the image now if we want to access the emotion we can do so easily uh, we can say plt dot x label x label um <coughs> let's just say df0 emotion okay uh, uh, we got an error oh i have to use iloc okay so zero is the emotion for this now i have already told you zero stands for uh, anger right so let's just go beyond now let's create a list of x and y so x will be a list of images and y will be emotion we will uh, feed in this image and neural network will have to predict uh, emotion so let's do this well this is quite easy to do uh, we just have to uh, apply all these functions to sorry we have to apply all these lines to um, all the value inside this df variable so let's do this uh, let's just let me just copy the function over here so that it won't take too long now uh have a look on it we have function called get data and it takes in the path of this uh, uh csv file or data set so we have anger equals to zero fear equals to zero set just to keep track of how many files have been taken or copied to our x variable and y variable so we are going to just append 4000 images from each category or i think 4001 images from each category it's quite easy to do so we are saying df dot read csv then we have created list of x and y then we are iterating in df okay so we are saying if df dot i look is equals to one uh one is for disgust disgust is just have uh three or four hundred images in it which is not quite satisfactory and it creates a lot of disbalance in our data set so we have to get rid of this so we will say if the emotion is not equals to one we will um check if the emotion is equals to zero meaning if the emotion is anger so if the emotion is anger check if anger value is less than four thousand or not uh, currently it is zero so it will get inside it and append it to x and append it to y and these are the operations which we which i have already talked about and it increases by one so next time if it value becomes four thousand uh, one it will get rid of 
this it will not going to append anchor images anymore now we will do same for other categories also so let's just copy them uh, and paste them over here uh, uh, we got an indentation error okay so if the emotion equals to two and the, if the emotion equals to three four and five and six let's just define this function and now it is quite easy to get the data set it's just as easy as just saying this it will take some time so i will fast forward at this moment all right now it is completed now let's just um, see how many unique values are there in y it is very easy just saying np dot unique function so we have categories like 0 2 3 4 5 6 when we haven't imported and we have 4001 images from each category all right so this is what we wanted now we will convert this list to numpy arrays and uh, one more thing i would like to show you is is if you see like these images ranges from 0 to 255 we have to normalize them to uh, 0 to 1 so we will divide them by 255 it is very easy and uh, very important to normalize the values and now if we have a look on our x and y shape they they we have 24006 images and uh, 48 by 48 obviously i have already, already talked about so now we are going to reshape it but before if you have a look on it we have 0 2 3 4 5 6 and we don't have one in it so what we are going to do is to take out the six and place it using one over here we will name it one um so we will use this cell to create this new variable by o you can also name this y if you want so we are saying if it is not equal to six just append and if it is equal to six append one in it so if we run this now we only have zero one two three four five six paste it and instead it is now y o then you can see zero one two three four five okay so now let's just try to print random five images just to just to see if everything is okay uh, label map is not defined and it is there he it is so first but before let's just convert x to 48 by 48 by 1 and if you know that in c and n we we should have data in four dimension where first dimension stands for a uh, number of images second is i guess height third is width and the last one is color color map uh, if this is colored image it should be replaced with three instead of one so we have done this if now we have a look on x dot shape it is this one okay so now let's convert our y to 2d vector i will talk about why do we need to do this but before let's just convert so previously we have y o right y o dot shape and this is our y new dot shape if we run this you can um see okay so it is saying okay so y o was a list it was not a array so it has length in it so 24,006 values now it is converted to 2D uh, of 6 rows. Let's just have a look on 0th values from both of these variables. Okay, so y0 is 0, I guess, anger. And it is converted to uh, 5 values where only 1 is set to where the index is. So let's just see another one. If we take a look on 15, so it is 5 and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In place of 5, it is set to 1 and all else are 0. Let's just take another example it is 0 and at 0th index it is 1 and all else are 0 all right okay now our most of the work has been completed now it's time to create the model but before we have to make some imports we are using sequential model then activation and dropout uh, flatten and all this it is it is just obvious like we need we need them so let's just now create a model and i will explain you every layer and this is our model so we are saying model equals to sequential and this is our input shape uh, this is our input shape 48 48 1 and we are adding convolution layer with 5 by 5 filter and 64 filters and input shape is 48 48 1 activation as ReLU and padding equals to same and one similar layer to the above one and then batch normalization uh, batch normalization is used instead of dropout in case of cnn uh, if you use dropout in cnn it it makes cnn worse it makes CN, cnn unable to work so you have to use batch normalization instead of dropout and it is added in between the layer and the activation layer so as you can see over here and then we added max pooling and uh, rest three layers are just copy and paste of this this first layer okay now we have uh, flattened our data so flattening i guess most of you know about it if you don't know let me just give you an example so think if uh, at last from this layer it gives us output of let's say uh, 15 comma 15 image uh, this is just an example so if this gives us output of 15 comma 15 image it is a 2d matrix so what flatten will going to do it will going to convert this into a uh, one column matrix or vector of 30 values okay so flatten as the name suggests flatten and now at dense we have six uh, values to predict and activation equals to softmax now i guess you might know why we need to convert this to like this array okay so we have to convert this to using two categorical or whatever you want to use now let's just uh, say model dot fit model dot fit let me just get rid of this callback function and this is model dot fit and we are fitting on x y new make sure it is y new 
Okay, so uh, we are uh, training for 22 epochs, batch size as 64, shuffle, shuffle equals to true, and validation split equals to 0.2 just to validate our model. So if we run this, then you would need to have to enable GPU. As you can see from this option, if you uh, come to right side and there is a settings panel, if you uh, go to accelerator drop down, then you can set GPU. Okay, so let me just convert this to GPU. It will take some time to convert. I will pause till then. All right, so there we go. We have connected to GPU and let's again run all these cells. You have to run all of them as the runtime has been restarted. So it would have changed the global variables. All right, so now it has been trained for 22 epochs. Let's just add a cell and save our model by saying model.save. Let's just name this model.h5. Okay, so this is going to save our model after we compile this notebook. All right, and now let me just add an image from outside just to see if it works. And I have this happy image. I will add this. Okay, so I have added the image and the image is uh, this one. So now let's uh, create a prediction from our model. Well, it is really, really, really easy. So we have to uh, first of all import CV2. I guess we have already. Don't worry. We will uh, again import this, and we will say we will say this test image and give this a path of this. Okay. So we will say CV2 dot read and pass in this image. So our image has been read. So if we have a look on its dimension. It is 82 by 73 by 3. So we have to convert this to grayscale. So one method, we can specify 0 over here. Now it is 82 by 73 image. So we first have to reshape it to 48 by 48. Uh, again, this is very easy. We can use CV2 for it. We can say CV2 dot uh, resize, I guess. Yeah, uh, resize, yes. So we can use CV2 dot resize and passing in this test image and in the brackets 48 comma 48. And I will again print out prediction uh, shape just to check. So it is now 48 by 48. And now let us convert this to reshape this array so again we can say test test image dot reshape one sample 48 height 48 width and one color map i have already talked about it so now it's time to send this for prediction so we can say model dot predict test image and this is our prediction 0 1 2 3 so 3 is the prediction let's see on our label map what 3 stands for uh, 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 let me just go over 0 1 2 3 it is predicted as happy and this is it for this video and if you want to make more predictions you can always come to this notebook and just run this notebook for free it's free for you if you like this video yes okay so now once you have done all this what you have to do is to go over here save version you won't have you won't need to do this if you're running on collab or on your pc but if you're running on kaggle you have to come on save version and over here save and run all commit so and uh, that's it that's it you can click on save so once you click on save let me just show you how this is going to look like it will take some time so once you click on save it, it, it will look something like this if you go back then in the output section you should have your model output you can download it from here and make predictions locally in your pc and we are going to use this model in the next part to create a web app from this and that's it for this video if you think i am able to give you something new today make sure you thank me by giving this video a thumb up and subscribing my channel and i will see you in the next video till then keep coding